afternoon for everyone, and I'm uh, staff for the Software Sustainability Institute. You probably already saw our logo on the website of LGN because we're helping uh, with the sponsors of the conference, uh, thanks to Larissa, that's one of our fellows. So I'm just going to talk about the institute for you. So the institute is a UK-based facility, so we try to promote better software's best practice to uh, people in academia and researching the broad uh, f f idea of what is research. So we try, we ha try to help people that need software to do their research from uh, social science to astrophysics, uh, passing by mathematics and so on. And we try to work in four areas. So we try to work with software developments, uh, also with users, right, providing with trainings, uh, also politics. So we try to do a lot of things to solve, to grant uh, agents funding that they need to support better softwares. Uh, also build the communities. So LGM is one of the communities that we will also try to help them. But all the open source communities is very welcome. And also try to outreach because it doesn't mean, doesn't help very much just to talk to people that already know all the problems. You need to talk about the, those problems with new people and everyone that's already familiar with open source knew these big issues of outreaching because this happens a lot. So if you are already on the open source community, you know all the uh, advantages of the open source that the three students that helped a lot of LGM show yesterday at the evening, but there is a lot of news, uh, people that need to, need to be aware of those problems. So in these five areas, what we accomplished in like the five, last five years is that uh, we run a lot of uh, consulting projects, so we have something that we call uh, open calls so people can apply. So the applications go until this month. So people can apply to have some help from software developers, experts to work on uh, those uh, HERS projects. Uh, we also provide training, uh, especially the software data carpentry uh, trainings. For those that don't know what uh, software and data carpentry are uh, two foundations, in the US and they provide training with Python and R mostly and some good skills. So people that are struggling to work with data and software to do some data analysis, they can get some help and training. And people that offer the, the workshops are also people from academia, so it's most of the time their peers. So they try to get involved with people that already know their problems. Uh, in terms of policy, we try to get uh, all the brand funded agents here in UK to be aware of the problems. Uh, you have a community, so we try to build a lot of uh, people. Uh, so we have a fellowship program that has uh, 61 fellows in the last five years, so Larissa is one of them. Uh, we have a lot of other fellows in UK and they do a lot the fellows are spread in all the, the fields from research. And in, on outreach, we have a blog post in our website. So they are very uh, popular because we have a lot of uh, 2,000 uh, unique views per month and three, more than 3,000 uh, Twitter fellows. Uh, we try to approach many of the universities. Go, go, we try to go there and try to explain all the issues and try to build communities there. So a few things that I want to highlight that be uh, maybe be of your interest is the fellowship program. So we offer £3,000 per uh, 50 months, so people can use that money to run workshops or conference and maybe attend some of the conference abroad. So this is quite interesting. We, have, uh, we promote workshops, as I say. So the biggest workshop that I, we uh, organize is the a collaborations workshop that happens last month in Edinburgh it was actually where I first met Larry in person. It was a very good workshop. The next year will be, uh, not in Edinburgh, this is wrong, uh, this is our old one, uh, will be in Leeds at the end of March. And we try to promote also a lot of other workshops. Uh, this is 
two screenshots of our website. So if you want to write a blog post or so on, you can, we are very happy to have your text on the website. Uh, this is two screenshots of the blog post. And also, uh, we have some guides on the website, so any guide that people want to write, it's very welcome. And thanks very much for 